I am Joanna and I am a member of the Faithful Remnant Church. We are led by the last and true Pope of this era, Pope Peter the Last, also called Petrus Romanus, who along with his wife Mary Romanus are the two witnesses mentioned of in the book of Revelations chapter 11. For the viewers who are not yet a member of the Faithful Remnant, you need to know that Jesus Christ, the Most High True God, sealed everyone on this planet, except the two witnesses and children, with the mark of the beast on the 25th of December 2012. And so everybody outside the faithful remnant is now devoid of their souls and is being marked. But don't lose hope. There is an antidote to get your soul back and Jesus can remove that mark on your forehead if you cooperate. Did you even realize till this moment that you are now governed by the demons and that you don't have your soul and that you are spiritually dead? You might say to yourself, I am living, my heart is beating. I will let you listen to what Jesus has spoken to his two witnesses. Jesus said, Yes, the souls and the heart are basically one. However, it is possible to have a heart without a soul. From out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The good man out of the good treasure of his heart produces good and the evil man out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. People in the bee state, they have hearts, but they are without a soul. It is that simple. Even a child can understand. That is why I tell the faithful remnant to pray from the heart. People without souls cannot pray from the heart. That's why they need the blessed holy water and repentance from the heart. The soul is one's connection with me. That is also where the conscience is. It is my gift to the human flesh, where they can decide what path they want to take spiritually. All of the blessings and the gifts and the love and the joy that I have set aside for every individual on the planet, they cannot receive without a soul. It is worse the state of mortal sin because at least when it was mortal sin, a person could still turn back to me through their pastor or in their interior lives privately. But I took their souls. The bridge has been severed, completely destroyed. The soul is the bridge between me and mankind. The devil only pretends to heal the wounds the mortal wounds of those within the Roman Catholic institution. It's in Revelations, the beast whose mortal wound was healed. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole earth followed the beast with wonder. And all who were worshippers of the beast and its image both slave and free, both rich and poor, both kings and rulers and servants. Also, it causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead. So, I am the only one who can heal people from the beast state. I have the antidote, not the churches. I took away all of the other church's abilities to heal people. I took away all of my true Holy Spirit from all of the prophets out there because they lie to the people and they preach for gain. But in my true church, there are no membership fees and no tithing. I am not interested in money. Only the salvation of people who are drawn to having a soul again. 
there ends the message so don't reject this olive branch of mercy that is being extended to you as a last chance visit www.testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com go to our daily prayer page in the left side of the home page pray the burning bush prayer from your hearts then go to the holy water page follow the instructions to get the blessed holy water with faith and contact petrus romanus in his email id to be a member of the faithful remnant the email id is petrus.romanus.mail at gmail.com repent do what is necessary to get your soul back don't fall for the tricks of the evil one the enemy of your soul time is ticking 